Ramadan Kareem. Ramadan Kareem. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome to our channel. And today we are going to solve Mathematics Paper 1 2019. And we are going to begin with the first five questions. The first question states that without using mathematical table or calculator, evaluate 5.4 divided by 0 0.025 times 3.6. Let us count the number of decimal places in the denominator. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, for us to remove the, the decimal places, we are supposed to multiply times 10,000, both numerator and denominator. If we say 5.4 times 10,000, here we get 54 times 10, 000, times 1,000 over denominator. All decimal places are going to be removed, and we get 25 times 36. We say it by 25, 1 by 25, 40 by 4, 10 by 4, 9, by 9, 1, by 9, 6. In 6 times 10 over 1 times 1. 6 times 10, we get 60 over 1. 60 divided by 1, we get 60. Let us go now to second question, which says, express 1,728 and 2025 in terms of the prime factor hence evaluate let us root 1728 over square root 2025 let us first find the prime factor of 1728 We are going to use factor method. The smallest number divisible by 1728 is 2 because of 864. Another number is 2 because of 432. Another number is 2 because of 216. Another number is 2 because of 108. Another number is 2 because of 54, another number is 2, because of 27, the next number is by 3, because of 9, another number is 3, because of 3, and the last number is 3, because of 1. Therefore, the factors of is 2 power, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 power 6, Multiply by 3 power 1, 2, 3, 2 power 3. Let us find the factors of uh, 2025. The smallest number divisible by 2025 is by 3 because of 675. The next number is 3 because of 225. The next number is 3 because of 75, the next number is 3 because of 25, the next number is 5 because of 5, and the last number here is 5 because of 1. Therefore, the factors of 225 is 3 power, 1, 2, 3, 4, power 4, multiply by 5, 1, 2, 5, power 2. And we were told, hence, evaluate. If we say, root 1728, we get 2 power 6 
multiply by 3 power 3 over square root 3 power 4 multiply by 5 power 2 cube root of 2 power 6 we get 2 power 2 multiply by the cube root of 3 power 3 we get 3 power 1 over square root of 3 power 4 we get 3 power 2 multiply by square root of 5 power 2 we get 5 power 1 in 2 power 2 we get 4 times 3 over 3 power 2 we get 9 times 5 by 3 1 by 3 3 4 times 1 we get 4 over 3 times 5 we get 15 and let us go now for question 3 which says Juma left home at 8.30 a.m. he drove a distance of 140 km and arrived at his aunt's home at 10.15 a.m. Determine the average speed in kilometer per hour for Juma's journey. We are told Juma left, if we say this is our distance from Juma's home to his aunt's house. Then we say the distance between home, Juma's home and aunt is 140 kilometer. Juma started the journey at 8.30 a.m. And he arrives at his aunt's house at 10 15 a.m. Let us first get the time taken by Juma. We said 10.15 minus 8.30. We said 5 minus 0, we get 5. 1 minus 3, impossible. We borrow here 1 from 10. We get 1 plus 6, we get 7. 7 minus 3, we get 4. Here we have 9. 9 minus 8, we get 1. And it has taken, total time taken as 1 hour and 45 minutes. 1 hour and 45 minutes. And if we convert it to hours, we get by 15, 3 by 15, 4. He has taken 103 out of 4. Hours. Then we say speed is equal to distance over time. Therefore, we said speed, distance which is 1 out of 4, which is 140, divided by 1, 3 out of 4. Then we said 140 divided by 1 times 4, we get 4, plus 3, 7 out of 4, out of 7, by 7, 1, by 7, 20, in the 20 times 40, 80 kilometers per hour, and that which says expand and simplify, you are given 4, we are given 4 into bracket Q plus 6 plus 7 into bracket Q minus 3. Let us expand. 4 times Q, we get 4Q plus 4 times 6, we get 24 plus Q, 7 times Q, we get 7Q minus 7 times 3, we get negative, we get 21. Let us correct them together. 4Q plus 7Q plus 24 minus 21. 
4 q plus 7 q we get 11 q 24 minus 21 we get plus 3 and that is how let us go now for question 5 which says in the trapezium p q Let's go for question 5, which says, in the trapezium PQRS, show be shown below. Let us go for question 5, which says, in the trapezium PQRS, shown below, PQ is equal to 8 cm and SR is equal to 6 cm. If we sketch, we have a figure like this. We have your PQ, 8 cm, SR, 6 cm. Then you are told if the area of the trapezium is, if the area is equal to 28 cm square, find the perpendicular distance between PQ and SR. Simply, you are told to find the height of this trapezium. We know that the area of trapezium, the formula is a half a plus b times height. In this, let us substitute that area is 28 is equals to a half. So plus b, the other parallel line, h is equals to a half times 8 plus 6, we get 14 times high. We say it by 2, 1, by 2, 7. H, we get 7 H is equals to 28. Divide by 7, divide by 7. By 7, 1, by 7, 1, and our height is equals to by 7, 1 by 7, 4. We get 4 centimeters as our perpendicular line. And that is end our discussion today. We have solved the first five questions. And in our next clip, we are going to solve from question 6 to question 10. Thank you very much and welcome all.